Hello, my name is Anne-Sophie, and I'm going to present today a recipe for a goat cheese tartlet with brick crust or with filo dough. So the ingredients, uh, brick crust or filo dough or pastry crust. We don't have filo dough, so I'm using brick crust. Goat cheese, fresh chives, fresh thyme. Now, dried thyme is fine, but it's always better with fresh thyme. 5 to 6 ounces of grated gruyere, a few tablespoons of liquid creme fraiche, salt and pepper, and a little milk. Now the tartlet can be made either in individual portions for an appetizer, in paper muffin cups or in a muffin tray like I have here. So paper muffin cups as well. Now if you don't have this size for individual tarts, you can also use a small casserole dish to make individual tarts as a main dish. But whatever the size of your tart, the ingredients remain the same. So, we're going to begin with our brick crust. So, you have to peel the brick crust carefully off the paper. It's slightly fragile, but it peels off fairly easily. The dough is very light in texture and taste. And, and I'm going to cut the crust to make a small square for this mold. Now if you're using a slightly larger mold, cut slightly larger squares. At least two layers of dough for each dish to hold the goat cheese and the creme fraiche without breaking. So that it's not too, uh, not too thin. So, I cut the small squares to place my individual molds which you can serve uh, four or five with a salad or you can serve them as appetizers. It's a recipe that's fairly original and it's really good. Something unique. So, I'm cutting uh, small squares the size of my molds and I'm placing them one on the top of the other. So I'm going to be cutting a lot of squares for about 15 tartlets. So I'll need about 30 squares for my 15 tartlets. And if I have a few extra, it's okay. And if not, you can also cut the filo dough in two layers. It's very fragile, but also very elastic. Now we lose generally a little dough at the end. But there is square brick, brick crust that exists that is perhaps better for this recipe, but we're using round brick crust. And now we can make, and now we're cutting dough for this mold, and if you want to use a larger mold with this recipe, you take the whole dough and layer three or four without cutting. So, I, now I have about the size of my mold. Voila. So, we'll set this aside. So, we're going to prepare the goat cheese. Now I'm going to cut the goat cheese into little pieces and, oh I forgot to tell you that the recipe requires three eggs. Up, three eggs. And so that it's not too liquidy, I'm going to use two whole eggs and one yolk. So one egg.
and a yolk. There we go. Next, we'll beat the eggs with a fork. So I'm going to then cut the goat cheese into small pieces. With a fork Avec mon and crush them into the beaten eggs. Now, I took, I'm using a round goat cheese, but any kind of goat cheese works. So, first I'm cutting into small pieces. There we go. So I'm going to mix all of this, and I'm going to crush it with my fork to make a sort of puree, which we'll use to fill our molds. So I'm going to add a few spoonfuls of liquid creme fraiche, or heavy, heavy cream. My Gruyere, 5 to 6 ounces, or 50 grams. And crush everything very well together. Don't hesitate to crush it all. We don't want any large pieces since the tartlets are so small. You know, it's not as important with a larger tart. So I'm going to add the chives. Now don't hesitate to use a lot as they add a really nice flavor and color. So, cutting small pieces. There we go. And the fresh thyme, if you have it. If not, dried thyme works just as well. It's not, it's not too serious. It's still good. So there we go. Now we'll mix all of this together. So the filling is ready. So we're now going to create our tartlets. I'm going to add a little crushed black pepper which makes it better, and a generous sprinkle of salt. Now, for the filo dough or the brick crust, whatever you're using, it's easier to use when we moisten it with a little milk. So I'm going to use a basting brush, and I'll take a bowl with three or four 
spoonfuls of milk. Now this allows us to work the dough into the shape of our muffin tin. So we'll take our little squares and I'm taking three at a time and I'm placing them in staggered layers. Now if the dough is soft, it's better. If not, baste it with a little milk or dunk it delicately in the bowl of milk and we'll place them directly into the mold. And then with a spoon, with a little spoon, it's better. And we'll take some of our cheese mixture and we'll place it into our little tartlet. Just like that. Now, if we've mixed well, there won't be any large pieces of goat cheese. And now we'll repeat the same operation by taking another two or three pieces of our dough, basting them again with milk. Now, it also gives the glow a glistening shine at the end. And we'll repeat the process again. So with two or three squares. Now the filo dough is very supple. We can use it in many recipes. And next, now if you're serving these as an appetizer, it's best to consider about three or four per person. And if it's in a slightly larger mold, one tart per person should suffice. Now, it's okay if the squares go over the molds. Um, it will give the tartlets a unique look. So I'll make one or two more. Now, we're going to bake our tartlets for about 20 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius or about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Now check regularly since the dough cooks fairly quickly because it's very thin. 20 minutes is about right. So we're going to continue making as many tartlets as we need. You can also use paper muffin cups as well. They work great. And now if you make a larger tart, so I've already cut the dough slightly imperfectly, which is okay. Now place it in the dish and baste it with a little milk. And so that it shines well. There we go. And now we'll fill it generously with the mixture. There we go. So, we'll put all of this in the oven for about 20 minutes, checking every 5 minutes or so. So, I'll see you in a bit. So, they finished cooking in the oven at about 350 degrees Celsius, Fahrenheit. So, either take off the paper muffin cups, if you've used muffin cups, or gently remove them from the muffin tin, just like this. Now, be very careful, they're hot. And you have a super appetizer. Now you should, of course, serve it hot. It's much better hot. Now if they stick, just gently break the dough. 
Level it's a little bit like lace. And they come apart very easily. So I've also baked the larger tart, which can be served as an entree with a salad or just like that. Well, I hope you can taste these tartlets soon. And thank you very much.